Absolutely. Which I absolutely. But but have I ever taken off the Mohammedan lens and looked at Christianity from the Christian lens? Absolutely. I've also done that. I've also done that. I, it's, I know it's not easy to take off your Mohammedan lens and look at Christianity as it stands today uh, through that lens or without that lens. I've done both. I've, 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 I've tried to put myself in, in a Christian's and I appreciate why a lot of Christians would end up believing in this abstract notion of love or this belief in the cross. Jesus died for our sins. We are free. Hallelujah. Sing and have and, and, and live a joyful life in this world. It's a very attractive idea. Idea. I, if I didn't know Islam, I would be a Christian. Because it frees me. It gives me a lot. I can go and have, uh, you know, liberty. Die in one. liberty and commit sins as well. No, no, no. no. No? Not to commit sin. To so why did Jesus die then? Because we were talking about this earlier. It's liberty to follow, to choose obedience. It's not liberty I understand. To enslave. Okay, good. I, if, if sin is enslaved. If, if, if we have a dilemma. Coming, coming to the Christian church. Yeah. yeah. Legalism tells you, you know, you believe in Jesus, you can't sin anymore. Right? I understand that. License yes. yeah. tells you, you believe in Jesus, go sin all you want, you're forgiven. Yes. Liberty in Christ is that you are free not to sin. Good. Because through the Holy Spirit, He gives you the ability to live a holy life that you didn't have before. And it only comes when we surrender to the fact that we cannot keep His law, that we cannot live the way that God wants us I, to I, live. I'll ask you a simple question. Mm. If someone who has lived a holy life, mm. someone who believes in the cross, right, and uh, someone who has received the grace, and this person ends up um, drinking wine, I mean, wine is not forbidden for Christians anyway. Uh, let's say adultery. He ends up committing adultery. Drunkenness. Drunkenness or adultery or lies or cheats. And then he wants to come back into the fold. Is that possible? If they repent. But Paul says no. The restoration. Paul says no. Once you have fallen, having received the grace. The, this is the problem. This is where you get... No, no. Yeah, Paul, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you know the verses I'm talking about? Hebrews 10, 26. It yes. says, if we go on sinning willfully, as we receive our knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for our sins, but a certain fearful looking for no, our judgment. No, I'm talking no, about no, a different no, part. I'm, I'm, different I'm verse. along the same lines. You mean those who are justified by the law of fallen from grace? No. Once you have received grace, yeah. and then you fall away, there is no return. That's what he's talking about. Yeah. There, there is a point. I, I believe the way that I see the scripture, there is a point where you can go too far and you can fall from grace. There's Christians no, no, that here, don't. That here, here. The point, the, what Paul is saying is, yes. if you fall from grace, now who falls from grace is the question. And how much one has to sin in order to fall from grace? That's, is it one murder, two murders, well, one adultery, two adulteries, 50 adulteries? So which it's is not it one? sustained by works. Your salvation is not sustained. I, I understand that. But if you fall from grace and there is no return for you back into grace, how much do you have to sin when you actually fall from grace? Do you have an answer to that? I believe that God is merciful. Of course, so do I. But Paul doesn't believe so. Paul is saying once you fall from grace, that's it. Um, let's read the passage. So, uh, no, we gotta go. we gotta go. Go. I have to go. I have a, he's have he's a going dinner. to Spain tomorrow. So. Then, <laughs> nice talking know, to you. We'll continue what? talking. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for yeah, you. Uh, so, I, I uh, so will I. So I, tell you, I will pray for you. I, well. I, I never experienced God until a few years ago. Okay. I finally read this word and came to the point where I was willing to understand I know nothing. And look into when, Islam. When look, I, look into Islam a bit more before you die. Before you die. I, 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 before you decide to die. Or, or <laughs> decide to die. Yeah. No, no. Because the Quran tells us, do not die until you are a Muslim. Okay. Be, be, what is Muslim? Muslim is not becoming an Arab and start riding camels. Okay. Being Muslim has nothing to do with that. Being Muslim is being in submission to the God of Moses, God of Jesus, and God of Muhammad. So look into. To give it a try. Just, just with an open eye. Much love to you anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank no you guys. No Nice talking to you. you. Thank you. When they come back up rationally, bro, they will come up with. Whose who's mic is this?